Yeah, and then, of course... Four weeks are always imaginary bull... Yes, yes. Every once in a while, they get real. Um, and then, of course, uh, there was the big old Street Fighter VI stuff. Right? Yes. So, um... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do you want to talk about the stuff they showed in the in the thing during news, or do you just want to just roll that whole thing into yeah, this? Yeah, anytime, anytime there's a significant subject, I mean, it, you know, it makes sense it, to just... So it, that was part of the presentation. Exactly, exactly. So that, just go through it at this point, uh, up front. I mean, they, they first uh, had the, the live presentation. Um, Shout-outs to Gerard and Susie for doing the pre-show. Uh, they, they... Way better than the last one that they had. So oh, I, I don't it. know you. You probably did not watch the pre-show that they had that had Susie and Rune B, and it also had two uh, Capcom mm -hmm. um, uh, rep people. It was kind of awkward, and and it it felt like it felt like Susie and Rune B couldn't just do their influencer thing. It felt like like somewhat scripted. Whereas this pre-show with Gerard and Susie, they they got to sit in their setups and get their cameras as they usually would and just do their thing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so it was like fine it was totally normal and like exactly what i would have expected yeah they showed off a blanca statue which confused the shit out of me because of all yeah, who the cares picks about blanca? why like i even like i'm sitting here right now right i'm not somebody who's gonna tell uh, uh, blanca is a weird pick for merch i don't get it right uh i have this what do you got? Blanca Chan. This makes sense, right? It's the cute yeah. new form of Blanca, yeah. right? It's great. You, you pull it out, you electrocute it, you toss it up, and then you use an attack, and then you can do a cross up. Um, it that's that makes sense. Actual real Blanca is such a weird pick because I'm like, that's not the kind of character that is going to represent the franchise in a way that enough people are interested. I you know like what there's... it is? It's so they know who to send Pinkertons to. Oh, when they come knocking on the door. Right. So they're right, like, did okay. you order a Blanca doll? Okay. So now we know where the, now we know where the Blanca players live. Because it's a realistic, detailed uh, Blanca and it's not even the new design; it's the old one. It's yeah, the that's the we that is by far the weirdest part. And I'm like, I actually would have been down for the overalls and the new look, the new Jimmy. A scarf, to man. The yeah. scarf. Yeah. Actually, you know, and like, and like, that's the thing is like, whenever I see a, a piece of merch where it's like, if I see Ryu merch now, that's gonna be just like classic. You don't know what game this could have come from. It's the same old Ryu. Like, I'm like, no, we have a new version of him. Yeah, now. a big this part of Street Fighter Six's appeal is like, okay, so when Tekken Three happened and we got to see people get old or people get kids, you're like, wow, what a mix up. Now we have Street Fighter VI that is finally taking like Ryu and Blanca and and Chun Li and and Cammy and be like, this is the new one. And I'm like, oh, I like all of these. They're really good. So why would you pick the old? It feels like this statue existed before. May I? I I don't know, but whatever the case is, I kind of was like, oh. Because I would be super down for a blanket chan statue or a big a bigger plush. I don't want that's cute. It's awesome. It's a great piece of merch. Um, I'd be down for him with the the new scarf, the new look. And similarly, I'd be down for anybody with the Street Fighter Six look. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, I like that. Like the again that that the time moving forward, right? But um, seeing it as just the older design, I was like, oh man. That's a bummer. But on top of that, I feel like because we got into this topic as well, I was like, there are a number of characters where even if it's not your favorite, you can see that being a good idea for a statue or for merch that is like, you know what? OK, even if you don't particularly like Maine or or um, care a ton about Sagat, yeah. everyone is like, oh, but that's a cool statue. Yeah. OK, yeah, I can Sagat's see why cool. you would make that. Right. That's a, Yeah. Yeah. Or a jury statue would be like, yeah. Absolutely. Why That's not a cool... put out a statue of Cammy doing the stretch? Sure. Right. You can see these things and go like, even if that's not my main or or whatever, that makes sense as a Street Fighter thing. I'm just like, man, with the with the weird old blanket design. Ah, yeah. So strange pick. 
Weird in pick. any case, in any case, um, why not put out a statue of Jury's foot? Just the foot. Just the fucking foot. Why even make it a statue? Why not just make it um, rubbery, silicone? fleshy, silico, yeah. silicone? Yeah. Yeah. And and you know it's a foot, so why even stop I there? Feel, dude, I feel like why not just add I, some th extra? There's a. There's Utility. a lot of things I have never been able to unsee in my life, but like so you, the, <laughs> the foot pussy is like w way up there. It's way up there. Okay, it is way up there with things hey. I can't unsee. Hey, listeners, uh, are you familiar with um, I don't know? Let's say uh, Daydara from Naruto, um, and and. Really? How this this is what you're gonna this is how you're gonna do this? Are you familiar with Helsing and Alucard's hand with the with the eye on it? Fuck this. This is the worst. What if foot? <laughs> and and what it's if just it's not just a mouth. one of those silicone vaginas for your dick that is in the shape of a foot. This is a real product that really exists. And you can look it up. Don't look it up, but you could if you wanted baffles to. Baffles the shit out of me because okay, let's can we just let's. We're not even pretending reality exists anymore. Because the I've 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 had to describe and explain to Reggie. I'm gonna put an incognito to look at. Yeah, this. you do want, that. Listen, I've had to explain to Reggie tape. the magic of uh, the comedy that is the comedy of eggshells, right? Oh, that's awful. We step around and there, there's no need to crack any. Let's just let's just waltz through the flowers and make it safely to our destination leaving everybody mentally in shambles with the implication yeah. but here let's be real with the foot fetish shit i always assumed that somebody who had one was looking for like the foot to be on the junk and like the foot itself to be like would maintain its foot qualities and i assume that if you're a foot fetish if you're a quentin tarantino you want that foot either in your mouth or all up on you, rubbing up and down, doing the foot like, stuff. Like, you want it to be the platonic ideal of the foot. And maybe... Right? You, and then maybe as you get it, you, you level that shit up and you go from foot on the junk, foot in the, foot in the butt, whatever, foot. Whatever, wherever the foot you want it to go. But I never quite... But <laughs> when I see a product, which is a foot with attachments... The fussy. It, it confuses me. It scares me a little. Because yeah. I then go, hold on. If you're Wait, into is feet, the foot fetishist with the foot on the junk? Are you actually thinking, I is, wish I could put my penis I in the I wish I could fuck the foot itself. <laughs> is, has, the, has the desire <laughs> always been to, like, to, to just actually fuck the foot? Like, I don't get it. I'm going to. So these are questions that we're asking, and I want to be really clear. Don't answer them. Mm -mm. Mm. These are 100% the most rhetorical. rhetorical. I the want most rhetorical no question. information. This is the most this rhetorical question you've ever had. This is purely a mental exercise. Get, get out of it. Don't talk to me. But I just, there's something to it where I'm like, I assumed you were <laughs> getting off on the idea of the foot itself in its foot-like state doing the yeah. work. You know? Um, much like I any other, understand what you mean. Yeah, much like any other part of the body where you're like, oh, I'm into the, you know, whatever. Like it's just, I never assumed stop you wanted to. People in the live chat, stop posting the 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 podcast email link. Stop it. <laughs> get get that out of here. No emails about this. No, bad. Because the natural extension of that is like, if like, okay, D bring it back a bit from the feet. Right? Fine. All right. Okay. Titty fucking. Right? Okay. That's a sure. thing. Sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, If you're down, you're doing that, and you're are you Are you saying you want a chest bust of, like, a, a fucking pussy on the sternum? Does, if no. you're someone who's super into the titty fucking, <laughs> you're in, I assume that you're not actually trying to fuck the titty itself ah, you're, tr I don't, you're trying I don't to know. enjoy the physics of what it's supposed to i don't, so, I don't know this is why we'll never get on that pc gamer list of podcasts right here but this is important questions it's that is a lie 
That is a fucking lie. That might be the biggest lie I've ever heard from a human. This is not an important question. It's it's important and it this is this is what's gonna keep me up. Is the idea the idea of the jury foot merch with the fucking oh. with the accessories on. Alright. Um Fuck. it's confusing. Anyway, the Street Fighter had a really, really, really good presentation. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> And Wheezy was there for all two minutes and 30 seconds that he was paid to be there. He read that script accurately. He pronounced the names correctly. Lil Wayne did his job. He said the part the where he's like, maybe you could even play against your boy Wheezy if you play. Maybe. Yeah. You know, and and uh, to which then uh, uh, the question still remains: Is Wheezy or is L Lupe Fiasco the hip hop king of the FGC? You know, um, we need to actually see that gameplay. Um, there's all there's a whole segment you can go check out uh, Evo Top Eight, but it's all rappers over on Willie versus the algorithm mm -hmm. where we we hypothesized how this would go. Um, there was a. Uh, 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 <laughs> the, I think we came we came to the conclusion that okay, um, Fifty Cent would would be in that top eight of yeah. rapper FGC uh, mm -hmm. uh, representatives, but only so that he could enter the same pool as Ja Rule, yeah. and then buy out all the other spots for every other player in that pool, so that mm -hmm. Ja Rule is forced out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then as soon as he gets to his first match in top sixty four, he gets his ass destroyed, <laughs> and Snoop. then that that's the only reason Fiddy would enter. Snoop would enter and then be disqualified, as it would be determined that he is not actually playing his own character. This is also a bit that we went into. Yeah, in, okay, in yeah. The vid. No, we cover yeah, we go. covered all the bases. Please go enjoy. Rappers are silly people. It's funny. It's 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 there. It's caricatures. It's caricatures, man. It's good stuff. Um, Soldier Boy would be fantastic because that would be the best rage quit of all time, the best mm. stick throw of all time, uh, just the biggest fit. It would be awesome. Um, he would also try to sell you some drop shipped uh, bullshit arcade stick that uh, the Soldier Stick while he was at it. And anyways, the whole bit it play it writes itself. Um, but Lil Wayne did his job. And then, uh, yep. yeah, they showed off the features. So what was the big thing? The fucking thing I've been asking for the whole time. Which, to be perfectly honest, the ingredients were always there, weren't they? We saw footage of the custom characters fighting against NPCs in World Tour mode. Yep. We see the custom Lavish characters... Lavish World Tour mode. Like, much, actually, much more expanded than I thought it was going to be. We see the custom characters hanging out in the online battle hub, just, like, cheering yep. at each other. And then there's a big open middle of the battle hub zone... Where nothing is happening. People just stand Some around and cheer. Mosh pit. Yeah, and you're like, what could that be for? It's for the crazy, dumb, stupid, set your monster up to fight against other people's broken NPC monsters. So we finally got it. I feel like we need. I need to go into a couple pieces of detailed information to break down how zany this is. Because it's about as zany as I ever thought I'd see a fighting game get. Okay, when you make your character, you can Cronenberg them the fuck out. I messed a lot more with the, the character creator this time Hell around yeah. in the demo. The, Street the Cronenberg Six, Cup is coming. The Street Fighter Six character creator has sliders. But the sliders in the Street Fighter Six character creator go like more than twice as far in every direction that any other character creator would allow. Mm -hmm. It allows you to create the most deformed characters you've played in a fighting game on top of that i watched people test it out the hitboxes are appropriate yep. to your characters fucked up proportions i saw characters with arms going down to the floor using luke's moveset with just the longest jabs in the world if you give yourself t-rex arms your punches will be stubby and shit. they yeah. can't hit anything Legitimately, it but actually your hitbox is, is actually by the physics. really tiny on your character when you, it comes. To, sorry, your hurt box yes. is actually really tiny. So on as, top of that, so as sorry, with 
as with large characters versus small characters, you can get hit easier, but you can also hit easier, or you can be more nimble, but you got to work harder to get the hit in. It's crazy. On top of that, so we we talked about this for a bunch the last time they did a Street Fighter Six thing. There's two ways to make a custom character in a fighting game. You can either be like, you are playing as Ryu with your custom character. It's Ryu. Here's the Ryu move set. You are just the 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 created character is visual, or you can do what Street Fighter Six has defi- decided to do, and it is hey, of the moves your character has learned, which quarter circle back move do you want? Pick, and you are mixing and matching. And they showed off part of the trailer of custom characters. Combining moves from different yes. move sets. Yes. In what? I, I, so I went and watched your uh, your reaction to that presentation, and I'm really glad that all of us, all three of us, had the same brain explosion moment, which was Kimberly's teleport into an SPD. That's correct. That's fucked up. That's like what bosses do in move sets that they don't let you have. Dragon Ball characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, the app, absolutely. So you've got the soul caliber school, which is the, you know, uh, uh, pick your, pick your soul master to kind of like emulate this character, which they still do have. You can just copy one to one, Yeah. but the fun and the madness comes from the mixing and matching, uh, the no mercy school of character creation. Yeah. Right. Or, um, a more obscure, but, uh, more on point would be the rival schools create a character. Yeah. Because back in the day, Japanese um, um, rival schools and uh, Project Justice had full-on board game where you create a character and then pick from a ton of moves to create a custom move list. And Mm -hmm. uh, the best part is, I was so happy to see this, not not only do you mix and match the crazy bullshit, nonsense, unbalanced moves from the full roster... But when you go to World Tour, they start doing moves that no one in the roster has, including like a wrench throw, an able roll, someone yeah. who's breathing fire. Like there's a bunch of shit that's like, oh, these are unique moves now. So there's a actual unique move list uh, that is not going to just be copying others. So like now the now the whole thing is open, right? Yeah. Now you can have absolute uh, chaos with move lists that might even be representative of – uh, characters that are not in the game, you know what I mean? You might get mm-hmm. the ability to approximate your own shitty bison uh, who's not there. Carlos Miyamoto is coming back from Final Fight 2. His move list is like Forgotten he's got it for 25 years. You know, like he's there as a custom character as well, but it's like you have the ability to do custom moves, which is now this Dark Souls PvP thing that yeah. I really wanted, which Just is like the most busted thing you can think of. Hey, man. And it, and it's this fascinating thing. It's like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to make a real character? Good for you. Or do you want to make a character that can really only do one thing, but that one thing is so fucked up that no one on the roster is ever going to be able to deal with it? Do you want to make a character with Dalzim's normals that also has sonic booms and flash kicks and just keep people at the fucking other corner for an entire game? Fucking why- do it. Why would you give yourself a flash kick when you can give yourself a Shoryuken, which yeah, requires right, no a charge? Yeah, you're right, Yeah, Sonic Booms and, and Shoryu with <laughs> Dolls Nims moveset. I Just mean, know you're staying out and you're going to stay out forever. Absolute madness. And, the on- and this is the only way to win the Cronenberg Cup, right? This yeah, is what we're heading for. people are going to make like, real characters or like use existing movesets? No, you're crazy. I can't fucking wait. All right, I want to see. I can't wait for the let me solo hers and the just the you know like the biggest, dumbest, most naked giant uh, uh, accessory cap wearing dudes that are winning and cannot be beat because they figured out the exact busted meta for this week. And hey, then did the you people know that who if come you make back your and arms this length and combine them with Dalzim's move set, you can actually tag people in the other corner. It's going to be the fucking best. And that's happening right there. And the cabinet where sane, normal, God-fearing Street Fighter in the rings is around. still happening. <laughs> um, on top of that, what really stood out to me is they had a bit where they're, 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 the freaks are fighting in the middle. But they're like 
the the game's world tour version of the freaks, mm-hmm. which is means they they approximate like a normal human shape. Um, but in the background, you could tell that the background spectators are the people that are in the battle hub mm-hmm. because a couple of the ones in the back, they weren't full freaks, but they were definitely like that guy's arms are huge and out to the side and that guy's too tall or whatever. So that means your battle network, like sorry, your battle hub freak fights will have the real freaks in the background just being nightmares. So there's going to be a really fun thing where people are going to log into these rooms. Some people will scaredly run up the stairs and hide as they get their serious fights going. And some people will run straight for the middle with eight arms going. <laughs> and they'll and then there's going to be just the chaos of these two worlds, but they're in the same space forced to collide. I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy this feature is confirmed. Um, don't look at the players in the middle. Do not shake their hands. No, yeah, like if you can find them. <laughs> it, <laughs> you know? It's it's gonna be fascinating. Like I want to see, like, cause the you know the stubby normals is gonna be a problem for the small characters. But I'm like, I don't know how small you can make the character. I bet you can make them pretty fucking small. Probably like like stupid small. Like like normals go over their head small. It's the scene from the Street Fighter cartoon where the go- the door opens and all the monsters come out. Except they're, completely, they're, yeah, they're all character yeah. creators. <laughs> um, and I want to see how the throw animations just completely fall apart. Oh god! On the on the Cronenbergs. Oh man, yeah. No, especially if you're doing Manon's uh, twirls. Yeah, where she forces you to like be in step sync with her. Like it's just fall. It's gonna be so awful. Um, yeah, so that's, that is, that is the best announcement. That is the best. Mm -hmm. Um, furthermore, we got some more look at World Tour. We got to try out World Tour. And yeah. Kind of. um, Just like the tiniest little bit of World Tour. mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty great that you can just be walking around and just be picking fights with, yo, hey, hey, child, you want a battle? And child is like, let's go. Perish. Yeah. And, like, cops are out there picking fights, and you're like, yeah, they are. <laughs> and you can, like, uh, uh, I'm looking at the, like, hey, you can't get on the subway. And I'm like, why can't I just swing? And we decide who gets on the subway via combat. Yeah. Bring mm-hmm. me Battle World, you know? Um, it, 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 <laughs> it's this wonderful little thing that it's, I love these types of gameplay modes where it's like, you always have this thing where you're looking at the fictional world of Metro yes. City or yes, the Street Fighter yes. universe, and you're like... What is what is the day to day life of the people in Street Fighter look like? And World Tour says it looks like this. Exactly. That's <laughs> fucking stupid. That <laughs> is a zany fucking place to live. But it follows the rules of the um, sports slash buddy uh, monster anime, right? You've got to have the world where, hey, when I go to this restaurant, uh, I might be able to. Uh, show you my Pikachu, and if you think my fur is fluffy enough, I'll eat for free, right? Yeah. At the same time, way over there, there's the world where the suave uh, um, uh, playboy is drinking at the bar, and then he buys a gunpla for the cute girl at the other end and goes, compliments of me. And she's like, mm-hmm. oh my god, look at this gunpla. And then everyone in that world, that's the thing, right? Or you pull yeah. out your Yu-Gi-Oh cards to fuck it. Whatever the well, world everyone is. Everyone plays Yu-Gi-Oh. That's this weird. Is, so what is it going to be in Street Fighter? Swing first, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> every single what are person. What we doing? Every man, woman, child, mutant, Cronenberg, cop, mailman, restauranteer, delivery guy, taxi driver, plumber, etc., are all just waiting around and if you walk up to them and go hey how about we fucking fight they go okay yeah sure that sounds that sounds like a great idea that's it and i'm hoping that it's like if you beat me yeah you'll i'll give you a discount how about that you've earned it you know fight the fridge exactly it um, also it it's like it paints this world in which like it's hard to injure people in the street fighter universe <laughs> like people people like i'm like you I, you start with luke's move set Right. And you're doing like 
Luke's like command uh, command normals and throw on some guy trying to sell you a pizza, mm-hmm. and you knock his ass out, and he just dusts himself off and goes, "Yeah, I guess I'm back to selling pizza." At the same time, they just introduced, "Hey, look at the battle damage that you can take between rounds." Hey, that is such a weird combination of these two ideas. But it's also very Street Fighter identity because when you think back to Street Fighter Two. There's I have I have clothing that is just the beaten up losing portraits, right? Yeah. Seeing your character get fucked up in Street Fighter is like as old as World Warrior. So mm. it makes sense to see the battle damage be a thing. Um you can yeah, turn man. it off if you don't like. You can turn it off if you don't like it. But uh that's fun. And 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 I'm I'm just like I'm really happy to see that like they're le- they're doing exactly the things I wanted to see. The alt costumes they showed off for some of the characters looked fun. Like um, hey, look, it's it's hey, do you want do you not want the the new thing? Do you want Ryu to be wearing the white? Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. That also your rival in World Tour mode, Bosch, looks so much fucking. He's so swagged out. His drip is incredible is the- compared to your bullshit. It is the character creator rival problem in that, like, like, like think of Commander Shepard. Think of, like, the Commander Shepard that's the scanned-in male model, Box right? And then you go, mm-hmm. I'm going to go make my own male Shepard. And then you're like, fuck. Mm-hmm. This looks like shit. R- Bosch is that guy. Bosch yeah. is like, you didn't make this with the character creator. You made this with an artist and yeah. a programmer. Yeah, exactly. Um, I could see him being someone that, like, we, we spend the entire life cycle of this game going, please make Bosch a fighter for real. And they'll the go, no. Time. No. We won't. He's hot. You want to go to World Tour. That's why we That's why we made him hot. Um, yeah. No, he looked like any, any... The first thing he does is dive kick you. So you're like, fuck, he's got dive kick privilege, too. Uh Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy to see World Tour is exactly as, as goofy as it, it is a... It and they show off that we'll be doing dramatic battles. We'll mm-hmm. be fighting refrigerators. I hope that it's not like five hours long, and then you just completely like never. They never touch it again, kind of thing. I hope that we get a decent length of content out of it, and it'd be fun if every once in a while there was like, "Hey, we added a new neighborhood." You know, I don't think we'll get new neighborhoods, but they did say that the DLC characters would have. Um, World Tour content. Okay, that's so. Cool. Like when Rashid gets added, he'll be somewhere because you got to go find can... him and learn his shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you oh, can yeah. Up your right. Character. So naturally, every character that drops will come with some World Tour content for mm-hmm. you to learn their whole thing. And depending on who they are, like obviously Chun Li comes with Li Fen, right? So maybe I... hanging out with Rashid involves hanging out with Azam. You know, mm-hmm. maybe hanging out with Ed means meeting Falk somewhere. Yeah, I that would could assume be interesting. that it could actually be like five hours if you're like, I'm just going to go to where Bosch is hanging out and beat up Bosch, and then I'm going to go to the new location and beat up Bosch. But I assume if you actually want to talk to and chill out and learn the the moves of every character on that roster, mm-hmm. it will actually be a hell of a lot meatier than that. Yeah. Yeah, I think I I imagine there's gonna be a ton of just optional because maximizing that move list is is that's a lot of characters to master and 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 spend time with. So like you um, could probably go through that whole mode and be like, I'm playing as Luke in my custom character form, and that's it. And if again, if we're seeing the likes of one Carlos Miyamoto from Final Fight Two. One can mm-hmm. only assume that the deep cuts from the Capcom database are going to be showing up. You know, if you're getting Ed, you might just get the Shadowloo, Shadowloo Gorilla Baba Yaga, uh, who I you may. Lie. There's so Shadow Neo Shadowloo is basically the group that Ed founds of like people who are like, uh, let's save all the Shadowloo kids and let's uh, like. Uh, uh, oh yeah, that's the Shadowloo Gorilla. Get the fuck out of here! And and let's save all the Shadowloo kids and exp- and the people that are experimented on, including Falk, Ed, uh, and and a gorilla named Baba Yaga. <laughs> uh, Baba Muarim, apparently, but or Baba Mwalumu or something. Whatever. That's yeah. There's an evil okay. gorilla. Something like that. There you go. Whatever. Shadowloo Gorilla. Right. Um. So. 
Get, Bison get also was like, what if I die? I'll put myself into a cute girl's body or a gorilla. Or, Those were his options. Yeah. Bison was <laughs> Bison was was pressing. He, Bison was, was playing the field. He was trying to figure out what he wanted to reincarnate as. Um, and it seems like his options included, oh my God, uh, yes, a bunch of cute dolls or Ed or Abel or maybe even a gorilla. I you think... know? I think they should bring Bison back as a DLC character, and it should be the gorilla wearing tattered Bison clothes. Clothing? Like, I mean, we've already had Ed and Cammy in tattered Bison clothing, so, like, we can do that. But, but this time it's a gorilla. But also, but we can't because Bison is stuck inside of JP's stick. Is that true? I is mean, that it, happening? it seems like his soul is trapped inside of JP's like, 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 like cane. That seems to be the deal, you know. Um, and I hope that like he talks shit. It's like you wanted to reincarnate. Well, here you go. Reincarnate as my fucking pimp cane, idiot. Oh, Do that's a bummer. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I like the idea that there, like the whole time Bison was terrorizing the world with psycho power, there was some guy over here that didn't care about any of that shit that was just much better at it than Bison was. This is the history of the villain sequel, you know, issue, right? The power creep. You have to always have the guy that laid in the cut for the whole thing. It's like I, I just don't care, man. I just want to be rich and and almost step on people's faces. Yeah. Um, so no, that's, that's, that's looking good for world tour mode. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Uh, and then they showed off, uh, the first round of DLC. So I was wondering, I was like, you can't go too hard on this because it's weird to announce extra content for people before the thing that they've spent the money on is even out yet. Right. Right. But at the same time, people already know what that shit is. It's been leaked. And we can, at the very least, go, hey, if you're a fan of Akuma and you're like, where's Akuma? Here he is. He's coming. And he'll, yes. He'll be coming out in May of next year. And also, he's still keeping the big lion's mane beard. Um, I think they can fix it as long as they make it not a perfect circle around his face. I think that is uh, also going to be a solution. They fixed Ken's head and hair. I, yeah. I feel I'm not worried about anything else. Yep. Um, can't wait to see Rashid just spinning mix his way through every drive impact. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Um, and yeah, I'm... I'm, so, I'm just for Rashid being first out the gate. Like, he was a really cool new addition to the roster in 5. So, I have to assume that when you drop Akuma eventually, because as, you know, Akuma is DLC, it's like we know the ones you want and we're gonna we're gonna sell you them for sure. Akuma I has been relegated to you're gonna buy him forever now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> like Biken, you will always pay for Biken. That's it. No, <laughs> no more baseline <laughs> roster Biken ever. Uh, I have to assume as well though that imagine how cool the single player content could be for that if it's like, oh shit, a mysterious island has appeared off the coast go to that island to find out what's going on. And it's fucking Akuma Island. And I moved how, the island here. And that's how you go learn his shit, right? You go on a whole other bit for him and it just, for, just for learning all the, his mm -hmm. moves. You know, like there's, a, there's a, a, a whole thing you can do with like, depending on the gravitas of the character, um, go to an area to learn all their stuff. Like that would be really exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, that looks very cool. Uh, and then uh, they dropped the, of course, and the demo is available now. Oh, it'll be available on Wednesday for those uh, for people who don't have a PlayStation. Yeah, so uh, the uh, PS5, PS4 version available right off the bat, and then the PC version coming a week later. And it was a World Tour demo plus two-player local, uh, and then the, the two tutorials and the new battle demonstrations as well. Um, at a glance, I can see they've, as far as the teaching stuff goes, uh, they got a lot uh, better over the demonstrations last time. There's some with pretty a few cool... notable exceptions. With a few notable exceptions. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, uh, the good <laughs> stuff is that they describe every move, they describe the utility of the move, and they've added 
two extra things that are really uh, key here. One is the ability to press the back button uh, to then, or the touchpad, to then jump into the demonstration and try it for mm-hmm. yourself, right? Yeah. So they'll tell you how to, what to do and how it works and why, and then you can go test it out to your heart's content and then jump back into the demonstration. And then the mm-hmm. second thing they did was they didn't have this in five. They describe neutral, right? They actually show you examples of neutral play. Now, the problem <laughs> is in this one infamous screenshot, they're like, when you do crouching low kicks, that's called footsies. And everyone's like, oh, for the love of God, we're just going to confuse the shit out of people. Oh, I went and checked on this. That is actually a translation error. Exactly. It is a translation error. It turns out in Japanese, it just says, it uses the word uh, that they use for legitimately crouching low low kick attacks. And mm-hmm. the English translation decided to unfortunately use a term. Flavor it up. That is too general and 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 not going to, and it's going to confuse new players who aren't familiar with footsies, because when people talk about footsies, they're not just talking about crouching low kicks. Like there's they a lot. They should have said sweeps or just low attacks. Um, yeah, and and you know it wouldn't even be bad to to introduce the word neutral. I don't think that would be the worst thing in the world. Um, because it's kind of like it paints a picture of like sometimes you're on offense. Sometimes you're mm-hmm. on defense, like in any sport, but then yeah. sometimes there's a, it's the, you know, it's anybody's game. We have to see what happens. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I suggest if you want your description of footsies, uh, go check out, oh, the infill glossary is still the, one of the best resources and you can, you can see there, it describes the battle for space, you know, but uh, that, that infamous use of, of the word aside, they show you. Uh, a thing with with like Ryu and with Luke, and they're like, okay, so from round start distance, you want to kind of use fireballs. You want to pepper out a couple of crouching medium kicks into fireball, and just you know, st- you can fight from about here. Try to control that distance, right? And then um, once you get a little bit closer, you can. It's the perfect time to start using some mediums, you know. And mm-hmm. then once you and then you can fight at that range. And once you get even closer, you have these tools, and it kind of shows you an example of like, oh, like here's how you start doing things um and it's and it's it was missing in in the demonstrations in five and i think that's such a key important thing because um a lot of games we've had this discussion many times but like the a lot of games the genre is it's it it implies what the goal is you know you get dropped into a racing game hit the fucking finish line go right you get dropped into an fps go shoot the, the person but um, learning how to move and, and play uh, properly in like an FPS or an RTS takes a while, but at bare minimum, you understand, go go hit the go shoot the opponent. Yeah. And in this case, it's deplete your opponent's life bar. But um, it feels like in a fighting game, if you've if you're just completely lost, you're being dropped into a sandbox where you're like, but I can yeah. do anything right now. How do I know doing one thing is not better than doing another? Like. I could just keep jumping. Or I could back oh. away. I could dash up. I could press anything. I don't know for me, what for the example, difference of the value of my actions is. When I'd be playing like four or five, like say uh, I played, you know, I play almost entirely grapplers, right? But let's say I'm like, hey, okay, I'll uh, I'll try out um, fucking uh, uh, guile. Let's 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 imagine I don't know how to play guile, right? Um, and I'm, what the fuck is my game plan? I just seem to have a, 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 a harder Shoryu and a harder projectile. What the, the fuck am I supposed to be doing? And it's like, mm-hmm. just a small phrase of like, Guile excels at this range and at keeping people out with this move and this mood because you can charge both and the, just like, just give people like the basic yep. one sentence game plan yep. for the character. I remember a long time ago, someone for, w- was doing a Street Fighter 2 like guide. And there was a really cool set of visuals I saw where they were like, here's Ryu and Ken, right? And you just saw them standing on a stage. And then you mm-hmm. saw a big red line in front of them. Oh, that's and- David Serlin's How to Play Street Fighter 2. And then there was the box right in front for the Shoryuken. And yep. it was like this is the this L shape is what Ken and Ryu can do, right? Yeah, if they you're own just, this space. They own this space, right? And like the idea, and then Blanca, it's like there's an up diagonal and a straightforward, you know, and you can just kind of go like, oh yeah, 
my moves cover this. Walk around and keep in mind that you can put the pressure on with these shapes and like other people that can't you want to use your shapes to your advantage and that it was just you know a very yeah. basic thing so all that to say that um if you're and if just, you had like a picture of zangief it'd be like a, just a big red box one in front foot of the way over on top of zangief going zangief controls the space this. around zangief mm -hmm. so put zangief next to the opponent now so the, uh, yeah it, it's uh and so with these demonstrations uh in the game uh, I highly recommend that, like, you know, even if you're familiar with uh, these games and stuff, go read them. Uh, they're they're great at just giving a baseline explanation. And there's we're getting past that era of like, hey, pick a character. It's a mystery. Figure it out. You know, Fuck out. hopefully someone will eventually start in inventing the character. So you're like, what's Rufus good for? And then Justin Wong is like, oh, dive kicks. And then we go, yeah. oh. Okay, got it. Now everyone's gonna do that. But because also the there's there's the there's the prescribed goal for Guile, which is sit at the fucking corner and make sure no one can touch you. And then there's the reality of some Guile players, which is like, no, go in, go in super hard and fucking use sonic booms to go in in ways that no one else can because you can recover so fast. And as we were going through it, like we were learning things. There was stuff that we didn't know. Like Reggie Pitt learned something about Ryu when we were going through the tutorial. So like, I highly recommend checking those out. Like the demonstrations in five were great too, but this just like refines that and makes it even better. So um, great, great feature uh, uh, that they have there. Um, character specific, you know, for like, hey, this is what this person is about. Um, and then, yeah, just, you know, played some locals, played some some long, long sets, uh, got my fucking ass packaged, handed, and uh, uh, and return to sender on that. Like, I'm going to have to fucking really... Well, I'm gonna... Reggie plays, plays Ryu in general, doesn't he? Reggie is a lifelong Ryu. Okay, and you are like, Luke's cool, but, like, you're, you're not a lifer for Luke because that's not possible. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm waiting on, uh, the green boy. I'm waiting on, uh, muscle mommy. I want to be picked I, I, up. So I think the fact that they put two player local in there is fucking awesome. And I think the ability to fight the CPU, including the level eight, massively overpowered yeah. fuck ass five yeah. star CPU Hell is yeah. incredible. But I went to that. 1v1 screen and saw Luke and Ryu and went, man, I don't even care. <laughs> I, I think, don't yeah. even give a shit. Yeah. I think I think Capcom took a look at the situation and went, uh, you PC fuckers ain't getting shit. <laughs> I think I think they took they 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 went, nope, world tour demo, and here's a little taste of what's going on, but nuh uh. Um I, I I will say that like Ryu obviously being included, he's always in the demos. Five had its demo, and he was you know like you got to do that. Ryu being there is mandatory. It's mandatory. It's it's how you get your bearings. Luke is how you get your Neo bearings, right? You're like, hey, oh. he's the new, he's the he's the, the way the, it's gonna work from now on. K dash, you know. But um, yeah, you're not gonna get a feel for like how different these characters are uh, uh, until. The, the, the proper thing is in your hands for sure. I will but, say, like, having the ability to actually practice with Ryu, like, yeah, at some point before release, I'm going to fucking use the demo and learn some basic Ryu shit because when are you ever going to not need to know basic Ryu shit? Everyone's going to do it to you. Exactly, exactly. You might as well know. And it also is going to be, whatever you're learning with him is going to be some of it transferable to your other characters, even if it's just getting used to the drive system. If you want to get mm -hmm. better at canceling the right buttons, if you want to get better at hit confirming, all these yeah. little simple things, you're going to pick somebody that has stuff that Ryu can teach you, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're going to, we're, I, 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 I suggest, yeah, if you, if anyone who's interested wants to fucking get a feel for this, grab that demo. Um, and then, yeah, when you, when you're, you know, if you don't have any locals around, turn that computer up to level eight. And don't worry, just, you won't beat it. Uh, it's, the thing is, I got you see my, my fight. I got mine. 
I, no, I did would, you get the, did you get it with all the advantage on? No, 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 no. Handicap off. No, no, no. Just okay, level you eight. See, I, did you see High Fight put up a video fighting yeah, the, the yeah. level five advantage? Oh my fucking god! So back in the day when you used to put up the handicap stars, it would make your damage go up and your uh, defense go up, but that was all it did. Yeah, it was now, just numerical, whatever. Now it's replaced with the advantage stars, which is like you can get healing and you can do touch of death damage off of like a level three. Um, completely unfair, completely unfair character. And uh, yeah, the, the level five advantage that they add is like if you are not hit for three seconds, you start to very rapidly regenerate your life. So shout out to High Fight on YouTube and Twitter. A great account for just fun little fighting game clips. Fought level eight uh, uh, CPU with the crazy high star uh, five star advantage on. And you get to walk through the process of like, this is how cheap and unfair SNK boss syndrome ass this thing is. And here's the here's how you can do it though. And he managed to do it with Hashogeki, just finding that one little pattern that the computer couldn't handle. But it's so nuts because like if you fuck up once, it's over, you know? Yeah, so I'm looking at it at, at five advantage, the CPU hits you three times as hard, starts with the level three, only uses twenty percent of their normal gauge use, and their their vitality will regenerate to like full in 10 seconds if they're not taking damage so like he walks forward and i think where you hit him like with a medium and just killed him instantly yeah. it's like that's that's what you're dealing with 